Okay, so I was asked to do this, and I don't want to do it, but um, I'm going to read mean comments. That's just scary. One question, what's going on with the hair? How high were you during this video? Did it make you a little paranoid? LOL. Stopped watching today. Goodbye. Good luck. This gentleman's name is Dick, and he said, Honestly, your hair looks terrible. I'm sorry to be so frank. Why doesn't she brush her hair? She's a pretty girl. I really just don't understand the hair, though. I don't understand it either. It's okay. She needs to brush her hair. Looks a little matted. I don't think I'd be able to brush my hair. Never been a fan of dreads. We can all see what it is and the look you're going for. But I'll probably be doing something else while Pete's doing this. But um, Pete is going to tighten the rig. That was the next task that we needed to do. Uh, Norna, what you doing, Nina? Good morning. Good morning. He wants to go to shore. So I'm definitely going to film Pete tightening the rig because I think that would be very interesting. I think a lot of folks would be really interested in that. Um, and I'm going to be doing something not very interesting, which is sewing. So. What you doing? Whipping the end of this line. I got whipped. Tired to the whip and pull. Network. Okay, so the first step in tightening the rig is well, you gotta at least seize the end of the line. So we never seize the end of this line. So we probably should seize it. I'm showing you how to seize. So there you go. See it? See it? That's how you seize. Can you tell? Okay, the next step is tying a bowlin. So you gotta remember how to tie a bowlin again. Um, Pete's showing you the wrong way to do it now. Which I tend to do because I'm left handed and for some reason can't get it right. But this is the right way to tie a bowlin. You loop it whatever way he just looped it. And then you go in the hole, around the tree, and back into the hole again. Voila! Usually takes me a couple tries to actually get this right. And sometimes I even doubt myself, which I think Pete's doing at the moment. So, after you tie a bowlin, uh, you have a block and tackle, which is going to use to help tighten the rig. So, set up the block and tackle to some sort of sail, halyard line, and uh, raise it up so it tightens up the loose end of the rig. The uh, Well anyways, you'll see what I mean when you see the, uh, the dead eye rigging, but Norna is dead eye rigged. Usually what you do is you hit the rope that goes through the dead eyes with a, with a rubber mallet, and that helps it to, to uh, tighten. So now you Pull each section of the line through the dead eyes, and uh, that'll help to pull the line through, and 
and uh, sometimes it's good to have two people help because then he can pull on one side and I can pull on another and you kind of do it in rotation of you know where the lines run through and I uh, just kind of keep pulling and and, and then you end up at the loose end of the line that's connected to the block and tackle and once you get to that loose end of the line with the block and tackle you can uh, use that block and tackle to help pull that line so right now I'm doing that right now is I'm undoing the block and tackle and I'm tugging it to help pull and tighten the rig so there you go that's kind of how you do it and usually you do that a couple times so that you make sure you got a, a nice tight uh, dead eye rigging. Um, and like we say, usually while you do that, you have a, a rubber mallet to kind of hit up on the dead eyes to help move that line through the dead eyes. Next thing you do is you seize the lines together in a figure eight. You seize it, you seize that rope, and I'll show you how we do that. Yep, so you're pretty much seizing the line the loose line so that it doesn't, you know, pull through and get all messed up. So you're doing a figure eight uh, in order to do that, and I'll show you in the next scene here. So you go through and you do a figure eight, and then you go up and around and tie it. So there you go. Uh, usually you do about three of those, those figure eights, to really make sure you get a nice tight line. And it'll be so tight that you can play a stand-up bass with the, uh, the rig. Did you jump in the water? Did you go for a swim? Did you accidentally, whoopsies, fall in the water? I know you accidentally did it on purpose. Thing today is I don't like these doors that are down here. Um, when you're out at sea, they just tend to fall out. And it really sucks when you're walking by and one of these doors falls on your foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an actual canvas one that goes around and um, has some snaps that I'm going to put around here that's going to snap in. And then you can just unsnap it and get in there and then snap it back up. Applied for a beer internship. Am I becoming an alcoholic? <laughs> There's this thing online that had a... And in, you could be in a beer intern, so you could go and cruise the world drinking beer. <laughs> I told them I got my YouTube channel, so, um, you know, if they do want me to do that, maybe we could hook something up where I do my YouTube channel and, you know, go around drinking beer. <laughs> anyway, um, I saw that post and I couldn't help myself. I mean, why not? <laughs>